Hey YouTube, what's happening? Balrog here. We begin today with a question about the Striker Build gear set. Is it worth it? I'm gonna try this gear set and create some builds to see if it's possible to do major damage with it. So let's go. I have never tried on a Striker Build, guys, because the obvious reason is that using high-end pieces, you can get much more DPS since you only have two attributes on the gear set pieces and not three like regular high ends. So that means that you lose either critical hit chance or critical hit damage on three or four pieces to use the gear set talent. And that's a lot. Uh, but since I've seen people asking about it and I wanted to test it out myself and give my verdict about the gear set. I'm going to work my way up to the best build I can possibly make using the striker set, using as base, a standard DPS build with a FAMAS and one Walker Harris, one Grupo with Vigilance, one Cheska with Obliterate, one Fenris and Contractor Gloves and Fox Sprayer Knee Pad with almost 60% critical hit chance and 136 critical hit damage. Doing 4 million damage, max DPS hitting in the chest in the shooting range after using two full clips to compare it with the 4 piece striking build. So the first build is a four piece striker build with the contractor gloves and fox sprayer knee pads as our only high ends. We end up having 60% critical hit chance and a poor 74% critical hit damage because we lose a lot of third attributes with the set. We have to use two full clips of 50 to get the max stack fully charged like you see in the buff UI area. And so you, you can increase your weapon damage by 65%. Trying out in the shooting range, we get 3.7 million max DPS hitting in the chest. So after that, I decided to use three piece striker set as the next build, since the four piece set was really underwhelming, in my opinion. Uh, so I rather keep the 15% weapon handling to increase the weapon stability, accuracy, reload speed, and weapon swap. And 15% rate of fire which acts like a balance because you know in theory you do less damage with this brand set and firing quickly kind of like balances things out. So I wanted to use the fastest weapon available to really spray the enemies in no time. A few came to mind, um, AR like the FOMAS or the CTAR uh, or the Chameleon with 900 RPM or an SMG like the Vector SBR with 1200 base RPM. I decided to go with the Vector SMG to really spray the enemies with increased rate of fire of the SMG plus the striker build. So the build is like you see there guys, three piece striker, one Sokolov with vigilance, one Grupo with obliterate and a contractor's glove. And since the SMG brings more critical hit chance to the table, I was able to get the stats to almost 60% critical hit chance and 130 critical hit damage, getting up to 4.2 million damage in the chest. Not bad, but I decided to create another build because I was playing closer to the enemies, but I needed more survivability. So I modified a few things here and there and came up with this one. And it was the best one and more fun play of the three builds, just because of the higher survivability and the power that the Memento Backpack gives, allowing me to be even closer to the enemies, getting all that bonus armors to run and gun. I'll explain this build in detail so you know what I'm using. If you like this video so far, please bump me up with a like or just comment down below uh, what striker builds you like to use. So the specialization is uh, the gunner because all of the nice passive talents like 10% bonus armors on kill, uh, third reload 50% uh, faster uh, with the SMG we're going to be running gunning and reloading a lot. The armor kits gives bonus armor, the ammo every 60 seconds and 5% rate of fire on kill for 5 seconds on top of the huge amount we have already so this the gunner spec is really good for this build. The main weapon is the Vector SVR 9mm. I'm using it because of the high RPM roll with damage to target out of cover and measure talent. The weapon mods are all critical hit chance to have only critical hit damage on the gear mods. 
In the magazine, we have the plus 20 rounds to have even more bullets to use and therefore do more damage. There are other options uh, for the main weapon, like other variants of the vector, like the tactical, uh, the SBR uh, 45 ACP. The secondary weapon, as always guys, can be whatever you want, really. For the grenade, uh, I'm using the right of foam grenade uh, for extra crowd control in case you need it for an elite or a group of enemies. So, as you can see, we use three pieces striker with uh, four pieces being blue to have 1.5 million armor. And for the second attribute, look for critical hit damage since the SMG gives a lot of critical hit chance. The mask is our first striker piece with the main attribute roll for blue and critical hit damage. The holster is our second striker with main attribute blue and critical hit damage. The knee pad is our third striker with critical hit damage rolled. The backpack is the exotic memento that will give us more armor and more weapon damage when we pick up those kill confirmed trophies on kill. The chest is a Sokolov with intimidate. Uh, with kill confirmed trophy that we pick from the ground, we will have bonus armors and we will amplify weapon damage by 35% to enemies within 10 meters. The gloves are the contractor gloves rolled with armor. The skills that I'm using are Crusader Shield and the second one is the one that you want to use. Uh, for even more survivability, I'm using the Reviver Hive, but there are other options like the Decoy, the Fixer Drone, Striker Drone, Seeker Mine, Sturt, whatever you want and fits your playstyle. The stats are 56% critical hit chance and 112% critical hit damage with 1.5 million armor and a lot of bonus armors when picking up those mementos kill confirmed trophies. And that's the key to this build, a running gun build taking advantage of the rate of fire that a striker set brings. So this guy is the best of the builds because of the aggressiveness playstyle and how easily you can down enemies after enemies without getting killed. So my verdict guys is that the 4 piece striker build is not worth it at all. You lose too much attributes at the end and the 3 pieces build is not great. It's decent using an assault rifle with fast RPM but it shines when using an SMG uh, using that sweet rate of fire increase and with a run and gun playstyle that is even better. So. That's it for the video guys, I hope it's been helpful for you, thanks for watching guys, bump me up with a like or if you're new to the channel please subscribe, we're almost up to 1000 subscribers, uh, I appreciate you guys, so as always, take care, be safe and see you on the next one, ciao! Contacts. <laughs>